let's make a menu. So inside of the menu, we're going to make uh, three different buttons to change to another scene or to see another text or instructions. So first of all, and go to the UI, click the panel. We'd like to change the background of the panel, which is going to be the background of the main menu scene. So here, I'm going to import one image. I will use this image. Well, the image can be anything. So just drag and drop into the Unity and click it. Inside of the text type, let's change it to Sprite. Sprite mode, single. Well, this is not the uh, transparent image, so you don't need to click Alpha is transparency. You can just scroll down a bit more and then click Apply. Let's go back to Panel, drag and drop this image into the source image. Now we have the, this image, but I mean, you can see that it's kind of translucent over there. It's because when you go inside of the color, the alpha value is set to the 100. So we want to change to 255. Go to the canvas. I will create new button in the UI and button. Let's change the size of the button. And then I will say start. And I want to use dim font. And then go to the button, disable this image. We can change the color of the text to white. Maybe we also can add a little bit more effect on, to, on top of the text. For example, we can add some glow effect over here. And maybe I want to make it glow in uh, yellow, a little bit large, something like that. Okay, let's copy paste this button two times. Click the button and Control D, Control D. So we just duplicate these buttons. Let's put the buttons on correct location. And let's change the name of the button. First one, I will change the name to Start Button. And then Credit Button. At last, Quit Button. And we are going to change the text as well. Okay, now we are ready to set up. Let's go to the script folder. We'll create C -sharp script main menu. Let's delete everything inside of here. And then we're going to create another void public. And then we will have another void, which is public void. Click to quit. So let's see if this is working correctly. So to check it, I will just type down the debug. Let's say start again. And then inside of the quit void, we'll say quit game. Save it. Let's go back to Unity and click the stop button inside of the uh, inspector. Scroll down, on click, let's add the function. We need to attach this C -sharp script to somewhere. Well, you can create empty object or you can just attach this one to canvas. After that, let's go back to the start button and then drag and drop your canvas and inside of your functions, now you will see main menu over here. And then I will select click to start and go to the quit button. Let's do the same. And this time, we're going to select click to quit. If you check it, when I click the start button, it says start game. Quit button, it says quit game. So we need to add the function itself. We need to call the another namespace, which is unity engine dot scene management. And then go inside of the click to start. We'll type scene manager and load scene one. Instead of quit, we can just type the application. Oops. Application dot quit. Save it. Open the file and build settings. Inside of the build scene, 
build settings, you need to attach your main menu scene and then as well as some other scenes to start. So this time, I will use the uh, buttons and rotate and scale scenes over here and just turn it off. And when you start the game, click the start button, it's going to move to this buttons scene. If you see the build settings again, you will see the numbers over here. These numbers means the sequence of the scene. So inside of the script, we said it's going to load the first scene. So uh, it is loading the first scene. But we also have the another way because it's not always the first one. I think it can be the uh, third, fourth, I don't know. Or maybe you want to have the uh, just next scene to open it to start the game. Comment out this line and then write down the sequence as scene manager load scene and this time I will say the scene manager again and it's going to get the uh, get active scene and build index which is going to check the number of the uh, opened scene I mean active scene and then plus one this means it's going to open the uh, next scene of the main menu if you test it again it's going to be the same result and turn off but quit one quit one is not gonna work right now because it's going to work uh, when you after when you build a game so now it's going to be same as just before but after you build a game and then if you test it uh, while you are playing it as soon as you press the quit button the, it's going to go outside of the game to use the credit button, click canvas and create empty and let's call this as menu and then select all of the buttons to make children of menu after that select the menu and duplicate it let's call this one as credit let's turn off the menu first and then inside of the credit we don't need a start button anymore over here, but I think we're going to use the text. So leave the text and just delete the start button. And maybe we don't use the entire credit button over here. Go back to the text. We can type down a little bit different way. So I will just change the size of the font around this one. And let's expand the area of the font around this. And then I will say, just for example, made with SD. And of course, you can add uh, more text to attach some explains or some ideas. And then let's go to the quick button. This time, I will call this one as menu button. So it's going to go back to the uh, menu scene. And in the text, let's change it to back to menu and then let's expand buttons and then what we need to do is just select the menu button and go to the click on click function and let's create one more and this time what we need to do is just select the menu touch the menu make it enable we're going to disable the create object so game object and that's it and now let's disable the credit object turn on the menu object go to the credit button this time let's add two functions attach the menu select boolean select attach the credit this time enable it that's it run it when you click the and then when you click the create button it's going to open the text click the back to menu to go back to the menu and quit is going to be quit and start is going to move to the other page.